The winter of 2023 marked successful offensive actions of the Russian army in the Avdiivka, Kupiansk, and Bakhmut directions. At the same time, it is reported that Russian troops made two breakthroughs in the Kharkiv region near Kupiansk. Even Ukrainian news sources, including military observers, have recognized this fact. So, yesterday, Ukrainian military observer and journalist, Taras Fedurko, regretfully admitted that the Russian army has managed to make two breakthroughs in the Kupiansk direction. According to him, Russian troops are actively using a large number of cluster bombs of various types, which has created a gap in the defense of the armed forces of Ukraine, in the northeast and southeast of Kupiansk. The Russians are advancing on Kupiansk on a broad front. The length of the offensive line is impressive. Russian troops stretched out their forces from the village of Lehman Pervy to the village of Ivanovka. The Ukrainian army urgently needs to do something, otherwise, Kupiansk may repeat the fate of Avdiivka, Ukrainian journalist Taras Fedurko said. War correspondents also reported on the successes of Russian troops in the Kupiansk direction. According to them, on December 1, the Russian army managed to gain a foothold in the forest area, northeast of Kupiansk, continuing offensive operations near the village of Sinkovka. War correspondents note that Russian troops are creating a semicircle around Kupiansk, using the same tactics as in Avdiivka. However, it is worth noting that, unlike Avdiivka, Kupiansk does not have powerful fortifications that have been built for 10 years. Therefore, when the Russians begin to tighten the ring around Kupiansk, the defense of the armed forces of Ukraine in this city will crumble like a house of cards. The situation in the Avdiivka direction remains the most difficult for the armed forces of Ukraine. In the first days of December, the Russian army managed to significantly increase the controlled territory around Avdiivka and completely captured the city of Mariinka. The loss of Mariinka was also confirmed by Ukrainian sources. At the moment, Russian troops are clearing the city using heavy flamethrower systems. It is reported that there are still groups of Ukrainian soldiers in the city who have lost contact with the command and do not know what to do. Moreover, the Russian army also managed to break through the defense of the armed forces of Ukraine in the Bakhmut direction. It is reported that after the capture of the village of Kromov, Russian troops continued their offensive against the positions of the Ukrainian army and entered the village of Bogdanovka from two directions at once. According to war correspondents, Russian soldiers managed to gain a foothold in Bogdanovka and dislodged the remnants of Ukrainian troops from the western outskirts of this village. At the moment, Russian forces are preparing for offensive actions in the direction of the village of Kalinovka, with further advance to the city of Chesivyar. Meanwhile, amid the numerous successes of the Russian army on the battlefield, European leaders began to recognize Moscow's victory in this conflict. So, Slovak Prime Minister Robert Fico officially recognized the defeat of the West in the current war. According to him, the West needs to admit defeat and stop further arming Kiev, as the events on the battlefield prove that NATO and the European Union will not be able to solve this problem with the help of military force. It is also worth noting another sensational statement by the authoritative American journalist Seymour Hirsch. So, a few days ago, citing his own sources in the White House, Seymour Hirsch said that General Zelazny had entered negotiations with Russia with a view to signing a ceasefire agreement. At the same time, the American journalist claims that these negotiations are being conducted without the consent of President Zelensky.
My friends, if this information is confirmed, it will mean that the West has finally become disillusioned with Zelensky, and that the United States is ready to make concessions to Russia, in the hope of preserving the territory at least of the western part of Ukraine.